It's storming a little bit, guys. Well guys, welcome to camp. So, I am about two hours south of my place and there's a pretty nice lake behind me, but I've got a nice campsite here. I'm the only person here, which is really nice. This is all primitive camping. Uh, there are some fire pits and some picnic tables, but that's about it. It's not too far off the highway, so you can kind of hear some noise, uh, which is kind of a bummer, but that's not bad. And there's also a chance of rain tonight, so we might get some storms, we shall see. But I stopped and I picked up these to drink. Some little Mickey's, I don't know, we used to call them grenades, but they're, I think they're supposed to look like barrels, man. I grew up drinking this stuff. And uh, yeah, I remember having t-shirts with that on it. And if I remember right, they have something inside every lid, like a riddle, or at least they used to back in the day. They do. So, Every lid on one of these has something like that and it's some sort of riddle. And it looks like a rock and a box with a something on the top of it. I don't remember if it says anything on here. I think you have to go to their website and look. Mickeys.com, but these are tasty. It's something different. Uh, I'm about to get a fire going just to kind of keep the bugs away. And since there is a high chance of rain this evening, uh, I'd like to get a fire going for a little while. It's cooled down a little bit here in Nebraska. Today, I think right now it's like 85 or something like that. I don't have any cell signal here, so I can't do anything. I can't look at maps or anything like that, um, which is also kind of a bummer. I really need to get like a cell booster or something for the roof of that thing. So I'm gonna get that fire going here in a second. Uh, enjoy my drink, but I don't know if you guys watched the last episode, but I got this sweet Ozark Trail cooler uh, from Joel. Joel sent that in. Uh, Joel did have a couple of questions on that uh, note that he sent about like campgrounds and costs and um, like park cleanliness and fees and different things like that. And it kind of depends. So I'm here in Nebraska. The primitive campsites at this spot are $15 a night. Uh, there is a bathroom right there, but that's it. There's nothing else here. Uh, no electricity, no shower house, any, nothing like that. Um, and in certain spots, primitive camping can be a little bit cheaper, but then there's, in Nebraska, there's also like electric and then electric plus sites, and those are more expensive. But we also have off-season rates, so usually during the winter, the rates are like 5 to $10 lower. Uh, also in Nebraska, we have state wildlife management areas where you can camp for free, but it is 100% primitive 99% of the time. There's no fire pits, there's no nothing. I mean, there's, there's nothing there. There's usually just a little parking lot and then there's some state managed land that you can hunt on. It's really meant for hunting, but you are allowed to camp there. So it really kind of depends. The pricing depends on the time of year and the spot you're at, but it's typically a minimum of like 10 to $15 at state ran parks. Uh, plus you have to pay for your yearly park pass. If you don't have a yearly park pass, you have to pay extra. And I don't remember what those are, like $25, $30 a year, something like that. Um, and then in Nebraska, there's also some NRD lakes, which are natural resource district lakes. So even though you have a state park sticker, you have to pay extra for the NRD sticker in order to camp at that spot. Um, so it, it's, it's a little different, like just over the border in Iowa, uh, you don't have to have a state park sticker. You just pay for a campsite at whatever park you want to go to. So, um, as far as cleanliness, I find that the primitive campsites like this are typically a lot cleaner. If you go to the big, big areas 
and you know, like in, in Nebraska, one of the big ones is Branched Oak. I avoid that place. It's a madhouse. Um, there's another one, Fremont Lakes is pretty popular, uh, and it's also a madhouse 90% of the time on the summer. And they have issues with theft and stuff like that. You can't leave stuff out at the campsite or somebody's going to walk by and steal it. But it's usually packed. Just And I try to avoid those places. So I guess if you're looking for nicer, more, more comfortable places to go, I would suggest going to uh, the primitive spots or the smaller spots and definitely getting farther and farther away from the bigger cities. Uh, and they're always nicer that way. But uh, yeah. I say we get this fire going before we completely lose the sun tonight and uh, we'll get to cooking. So we'll get into that and I don't know, kind of, I wouldn't mind some rain because it's been a while, but I also don't want to get shoved in the back of a truck and uh, not be able to open the windows because it's, it's kind of muggy out here. So yeah, let's get this fire going. did grab another bundle of firewood. Somebody mentioned that I just need to start buying it in bulk and they're probably right, but uh, maybe we'll we'll do that next year or something. Ooh, I'm about out of fire starters. So, let's see if we can get this going. I hate these things. They're much better when you can flip them over, but we should be able to get a get a fire going here. Let's hope anyways. We melted plastic all over the top of that. That's that's what you have to worry about. Um, usually the dirtiest thing in a Nebraska campsite is the fire pit. It's gonna take a second, but that'll light. That'll all go. It should.
it's storming a little bit, guys. I haven't even got to cooking dinner yet. It hasn't started raining or anything yet. But I'm slightly worried I might get struck by lightning. That's awesome. That is awesome. It's a little windy. Hopefully you guys can see me. That's way too bright. Well, maybe you can see me a little bit better. It is storming really good out here. Yeah. The wind's picked up. Blowing in every direction you can you can think. Yeah, it's really windy. All right, I should probably actually make myself some dinner. Yeesh, it was bright. Oh, there's a little bit of rain. The fire is, is basically done. So, I don't know how much rain we're actually going to get, but let's make something to eat. Alright guys, well, uh, it's not really raining yet, but it's definitely the lightning and the wind has gone crazy out there. So, uh, tonight for dinner we're going to make crab salad sandwiches. I've never done this before and I have this sweet dry storage in the cooler. And I've got all of my ingredients. So I had my bread in there even though it didn't really need to be in there. Um, let's see. I don't know what I'm doing. And so I, it's, it's a really basic recipe. Uh, just some random recipe I looked up. It's mayonnaise, crab, which is, this is just like fake crab meat. It's not real crab. Celery, an onion, some lettuce, buns, you've got some, I've got Fisherman's Wharf, it just said like seafood seasoning, and then I also brought some hot sauce, because I thought hot sauce would be good on it, and I've got a little bit of this Trailer Park Boys hot sauce, this was from the first release, uh, limited edition first batch, so this is bottle number 1160, and I've got just a little bit left in the bottom of there, but we'll, we'll put some of that on. I'm just going to mix it all in this bag. That'll be perfect. I need to chop these onions up a little bit. Ooh, there's the rain. Yeah. It's raining now. I gotta close this. Hopefully it doesn't start raining too hard. I don't want to have to close those windows. Chop this up on a paper towel. Yes, oops, it's coming in the windows. Well, this fan isn't going to do me much good in the window now. Sit on the floor. Yeah, it's raining pretty good out there now. Alright, let me set some of this down here. And over yonder. We'll just chop these up a little bit finer.
That looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and dump these right back in that bag. I'm gonna mix it all right up in this little baggie. Seems like the easiest thing to do. Recipe called for celery. I don't have anything to wash this with, but we'll just we're just gonna grab one piece of celery, chop that up a little bit. Well, I've got the front window open at least, so I've got some airflow in here. Even with the side windows closed, I'd say that's enough celery for me. Probably not enough, but it's enough for me. Some mayo. <laughs> seasoning there. It's just Fisherman's Wharf is what it's called. It'd be pretty liberal with that. Get a little, oop. That might have been too much. We'll kind of mix this up before we stick our crab meats in there. Yeah, I don't know. The recipe said six ounces, and this is eight ounces, and I'm just going to put it all in there. I might need to add some more shmeo if there's any left. It's nice to have a nice, I've got a much larger table to prepare food on. Well, this is wild cod. Oh no, yeah, made with fish protein, including Alaskan pollock, ready to eat, surimi flake, Fake crab meat. Do that. That thunder's like shaking the truck. Oh, I'm dropping some. Crap. I'm gonna lose my meat. Yeah. Some of that. It's, it's storming pretty good out there, I guess. It's been. It's been a little while since I've camped in the rain. Do you guys even hear me over the rain? It'd be nicer to have some bigger hoagie buns, but all I've got are some, they're hot dog buns, but they're Rotella's I believe, let me pour those out, snap that open, get ourselves a little bit of schlettus. Lettuce on the bun there. Pretty simple, but we'll toss some hot sauce on there, a little bit of Trailer Park Boys hot sauce. It's that, I'm, it smells good. All 
All right, we've got a little bit of hot sauce on top of there. Give this a shot. I don't want to spill it on my floor. That's very good. But I've got some chips to go with it. I guess I shouldn't say chips. I got some Slim Jim pork rinds. Slim Jim squealing hot chicharrones. Chicharrones. Chicha. Chicharro. Chicha thrown. I can't. I can't roll my orders right. Chicharrones. It's going good out there. Can't tell you the last time I've had pork rinds. Give that a shot. There we go. Is that hail? It's hailing. It is just absolutely dumping rain out there. And now it's hailing. Look, there's no tornado. That's hail. Not very big. shaking the truck a little bit. I'm glad I'm parked away from any really big trees. Well, these are good. They're not, I mean, they're spicy. Not as spicy as I thought they would be. I don't know if I'm yelling, but it's loud in here. Make another sandwich. That was a little bit bigger. any like any kind of weather updates or anything on my phone. Nothing I can do. Write it out, I guess.
Holy crap. Sandwich number three. I got four hot dog buns. I'm, I'm just gonna eat all of this. I guess I can stick some in the cooler. Maybe I'll save the fourth one for later. The chicharrones are good. Oh. The chicharrones pork rinds in Spanish. open another beer and see if we can figure out what this lid means I think it says great beer G R A B ear great beer well it's safe to say my fire is out Could have probably crumbled this crab meat, this fake crab meat, up a little bit more. Uh, but I don't mind the bigger pieces. Glad I heard the tornado sirens. I think even with one bar, my phone should go off. Those are fogging up. It sounds crazy out there. Huh. Slightly sketchy. As long as I don't get crushed by a tree. Do you think the, the buns would be better toasted? It would add some flavor to it. And I probably honestly could have put more seasoning in there, but I thought I dumped in a lot. But it's very tasty and incredibly simple. Zero cooking. I didn't have to heat anything up. I guess it's perfect to make it a storm. Holy crap.
transforming like a mofo. This like popped up fast. I'm a bit of a glutton. I think I'm gonna eat the last sandwich right now. Holy crap. That hit the ground somewhere. Holy shit. That was close. Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm going out, I'm going out with the full belly. That's close. <laughs> That's loud. I'm trying to get the last of this out of here. Y'all, I don't think that's going to translate to the camera, but it is shaking the truck. So slightly messy the way I did it. If I think if you did it in a bowl, it wouldn't be quite as messy, but I get to just throw this bag away and not worry about it. That was close. <laughs> Let's not get struck by lightning tonight. Lots of hot sauce. Well, guys, that was really good. Holy crap. Well, the sandwiches were very good. The storm is storming really good out there. I'm going to get this stuff cleaned up and uh, get a movie going, I guess. And not much else to do right now. Listen for the tornado sirens, I guess. Very nice, I like. All right, well, I'm gonna keep my Chicharrones out. And uh, where's my Jimmy Bob here? I'm gonna watch a movie called The Fisher King on Amazon. Uh, it's a movie from 1991. A homeless history professor played by Robin Williams who lives in a world of fantasy plus a New York shock jock played by Jeff Bridges. Played by Jeff Bridges from Disaster. So, we'll see what this is all about. Just listen to the rain, I guess. I think it's up to hear it.
hit the ground with that. Alright. Time to just kick back and relax, guys. Cheers. Good morning, y'all. <sighs> Man, that storm last night was kind of crazy. It just came up out of nowhere. I mean, I knew there was a chance of rain, but did not expect anything like that. Oh, it's kind of warm in here. Seven thirty. It's time to get up. Oh man. Well, morning guys, uh, it's beautiful out here, it's really calm, the weather is still warm and humid right now, definitely humid with all the rain, but it's not bad, uh, the lake's like glass behind me there, I've seen a few fish jump, really disappointed I don't have a fishing pole with me, I'm going to put one back in the truck, I need to always have one in there, but uh, yeah, everything's wet, my feet are soaked. Uh, I'm gonna grab my bag here. The rest of my junk. Then that cooler, because it's got something to drink in there. I guess I should bring that up front too. I love the cooler. Really cool. Really cool. It's really cool, because it's a cooler. The jokes are terrible. Oh. Smush my honey bun and drop my phone in the grass. Sweet. Sweet. That's really it. Um, I just grab my cooler. I got a bag of trash to get rid of. But other than that, we should be good to go. out of here I'm definitely gonna come back to this spot uh, I'm definitely gonna probably tent camp this spot at some point and I'm definitely going to come back and fish oh there's a house right there I didn't even know there was a house right on the hill um, yeah really really nice spot uh, the storms were cool there's a few branches down here or there but nothing big but I've got myself a bang mocha madness high protein coffee I've never had one of these before, but Kelvin left a bang in my fridge the other day. Some strawberry thing, and I drank it, and it was pretty good. So I'm going to try this and uh, eat myself a honey bun. And I've got oh, probably about a two-hour drive home. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.